What's up, y'all? The internet is a crazy place, man. So you were watching Dwayne Neal's documentary, Greatness, part one. So apparently this is about to be a series. If you do not know who Dwayne Neal is, he is the real GOAT. Um, he's a guy that was created on my main channel, like N2K, literally the GOAT. Um, but somebody created an entire documentary about this fictional NBA player. And I got spammed with it in my DMs, um, in my tweets. So here we are. Here we are trying to trying to see what this is about. Dwayne Neal was born and okay, all right. Dwayne was interested in basketball from a very young age. I uh, y'all know boys struggle with reading right here. His first dunk came at the age of eleven on a ten foot hoop. Hmm? Athletic in high school, he averaged 41, 20, and twenty two. Crazy, crazy great numbers. Sixteen power four went to USC. Dwayne Neal was seen as the best player in the draft. Facts though. Wow, no way you went into 2K with USC jerseys and created Dwayne Neal and have some highlights from him in college. Step back, cross the people. Whoa, Dwayne Neal, slamma, jamma. Uh, it's, the quality is not amazing, but that's okay. He averaged 35, 15, and 15 in college. I mean, you're doing that in college. You must know that he's about to be the GOAT. The Knicks won the lottery and had the chance to get the GOAT. He would be selected with the first pick, Dwayne Neal's draft day in 2020. This is an interview? What do I say? Like, it is an interview. I'm so overwhelmed, humbled, and just honored and very thankful. So this is R.J. Barrett in reality. Me and I'm so happy to be a Nick. I can't wait to play in Madison Square Garden. So Notice how he's wearing a cap? I don't. I don't understand that. What were the motions flooding through your mind at that point? Yeah, I was trying not to, even before I got picked, I was trying to not to just let it come out because I feel like I've worked so hard. This is insane. Just, this is craziness. And, and now that it's here, I appreciate it, though, because that means y'all really rock stage, with the videos and everything. I had to let it out. It's, it's, it's funny at the end of the day. That was a lie. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are y'all saying about Dwayne Neal? I was going to a trash franchise. I wanted to go to the Warriors, but they got the seventh or eighth pick. So I wanted to go to to the Wizards. Spicy. Number one draft pick Dwayne Neal has signed his rookie contract and we're looking forward to his career with the Knicks. Spicy. He was talking all that, all of that in the pregame lobby. Pregame lobby, y'all hear me? And the, the interview after he got drafted, but he was in the DM saying he wanted to go somewhere else. Oh man. All right, let's see his rookie season. What did my boy Dwayne Neal do? Uh, oh, Chris Middleton, you can't keep up. You can't keep up. Hold on. Just get it buckets. Again, the quality ain't amazing, but you get the gist. He had a great season. Facts though. I remember I remember some of the stuff he did. He was unanimous rookie of the year. Facts. Who is gonna mess with that man? He's putting up ridiculous numbers. However, he didn't win an MVP like he deserved to. He was a rookie, you know what I'm saying? Giannis ended up winning MVP. 30 points per game, 17 rebounds, six assists. But Dwayne Neal, look at his numbers. Hmm? Who really deserved to have it? Dwayne Neal had a better stats and a better team record. Uh-oh, he was snubbed. He was snubbed, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe I'm reacting to this video right now. Eric Gordon says Dwayne Neal was robbed. Shaking my head. More points, assists, and he was the first lead. Does it equal MVP? Question marks? Even LeBron. Wow. Just wow. Just wow. I am in awe that Dwayne Neal was robbed of his MVP. It's bull. Brr. Uh, sadly, Dwayne Neal was able to, unable to get his postseason revenge and lost in the seven-game series to the Raptors. Can people get it right? The eight C. Yeah, I forgot about that. The thirty-four percent. I mean, and what we're saying is, can he right now at fifty-two years old? Right here, right on one. I mean, and beyond. Come on. You know, Stephen. Oh been... gosh, don't, don't, <laughs> don't do this. You know. <laughs> he just might. I don't to... do. Don't do. Dwayne would have a comeback strong the next season. Season number two. If we just go through his entire career, season number one was rough, man. Being the one seed to lose to the eight seed. Knicks were off to a hor horrid 7-9 start. They recover after Knox went to the be bench. I, f I couldn't read the rest of that. Look at this man. This is the real goal. He's 20 years, 19 years old right now in this. He averaged 32, 10, and 12. Uh, awards after season two, first team all NBA, all stars, second team all defense. Like 
he became a household name but would not see any postseason success. See, that was the main thing about Dwayne Neal, bro. He struggled in the playoffs. They were losing the first round again to the sixth seed. They were always the favorite, and they ended up losing. They ended up losing in the playoffs. So the people, the criticism is really out there for Dwayne Neal. Like, bro, yes, you're a good individual player, but can you lead a team? Can you lead a team? And I understand we're talking about basically a 20-year-old player, but you're putting up legendary numbers. You want to be the GOAT and everything. So... How are you going to be able to do that? You're going to have to win at some point in your career. That's that's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing the, the media was saying. Despite their subpar team, the Knicks made it to the four seed. Now, a lot of this is paralleling, paralleling LeBron early in Cleveland where he just couldn't. The team was never built very well around him, even though he's putting up dominant stats. Um, and they prepared for the deepest playoff run yet. He averaged 34, 12, and 8. You know what I'm saying? Good numbers. They beat the five seed as the four seed, the Battle of New York. They made handiwork of the next in five games. Look at that smooth jump shot from the wing. That splash. Dwayne Neal. And a poster. And a, oh no, not one. A couple posters. Game seven semifinals were bring them back down to earth. But they did get out of it. Look at these jerseys. I just realized this guy's got a lot of custom Nick jerseys. I mean, the, the amount of time, the amount of time that went into this is a lot. I can just already tell. So shout out to the creator of this. One of the most heartbreaking losses in Wayne Neal's career saw his Knicks lose in six games to the Cavs. Now his Cavs team had like a young Darius Garland. You know what I'm saying? They weren't um, they weren't an amazing team. Um, but the Knicks just didn't have it all. The Knicks were fighting back. All since they were down, oh, they were down 3-0. And only stopped by a 42-point quarter by the Cavs. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. They almost made some stuff happen. Knicks had a lot of money in cap room and decided to go after. Uh-oh, this is when Dwayne started to get some help. This is when he started to get some help. Oh, man. The beer. The beer was not able to win a championship in Houston. So, he decided that he wanted to go somewhere else. James Harden were able to bring in... I mean, the Knicks were able to bring in James Harden to create a scoring and playmaking duo. At this point, he's kind of old in his career, but he's still James Harden. Dwayne Neal, the Knicks, got to off to a hot start. Dwayne Neal finally won his first MVP award. There he is. Take me through this moment, please. I felt happy to finally win my first MVP. Interview with Dwayne Neal through the DMs. That's funny. He would also win Defensive Player of the Year, becoming a third player to accomplishments. accomplish this. 29 points per game, 12 rebounds, 8.5 assists, 2 blocks, great percentages. But now we need to see what the playoff success is going to be like. First round, they win at 5 against the 8th seed, Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks. Nice mid right Joe. I actually don't remember if they won a championship this year. But James Harden is in town, so maybe he helped them. Maybe he helped them posters and everything this man is a legendary player in season number four jump shot bang don't sleep on Dwayne Neal another jump shot bang come on man oh they barely got out of this one. Oh, they barely got out of this one but you know what hey wins and wins wins and wins so they're gonna get to the conference finals oh my god Dwayne Neal's is known for his posters but they lost in the conference finals in the seven game series no way. No way. He missed the clutch free throws. No, Dwayne. No, no, not the clutch free throws. What about his legacy? This is the first. Oh, he's just getting clamped up, huh? This is the first time Dwayne Neal actually had help in having James Harden. And they, ah, uh, five points from James Harden is rough, though. Season number five. Season number five. He has yet to win a championship. The Nips finally... The first in the East again. All right. So maybe this is the time. He won his second MVP in his career. Back-to-back -back MVP awards. They sweep in the first round. The 76ers had no chance. Second round, they sweep. Okay. This might be the most dominant Knicks team they've ever seen. They Yes. Yes. And we're in the finals. Andy, they beat us last round. TJ McConnell, bro. Quit playing with the two-time defense. Three-time defensive player of the year now. And then, oh, a fast break. The block and the bucket on the other end. 
Despite Dwayne Neal's amazing play, the Knicks would lose in seven to the Trailblazers. Oh, man. This boy just cannot get a championship. Dwayne was heartbroken in the loss in the finals. Oh, man. Dwayne Neal describes his teammate Lou Lee. My first game with Dwayne. Oh, he's described by Lou Lee. This whole universe is ridiculous. My first game with Dwayne was just an unreal experience. He's such a dynamic and explosive player, and he has the ability to make everyone on the court better. I remember that first game we were playing, the Bucks, and me and him were just like Lob City. I was throwing him oobs left to right, and the whole atmosphere at Madison Square Garden was intense. This whole universe is kind of crazy. So many people have like these, these, oh my God, it's more. Were you surprised by his ability to score and pass for sure? I had seen him play in college and I knew right away he was an elite scorer and passer, but playing with him is something else, man. You don't see a guy like him, 6'11", and have the passing ability that he has. And, and he can score at ease. He is one special player. There's an entire universe on Twitter of Lou Lee and all of his people. Um, at this point, you know, sometimes it takes experience. I'm wondering if now that you have some of that experience, if you see more validity to that point or what you think about that now that you've gone through it. Hey, that's tough. Dwayne spent the whole off season getting better. Yo, that's tough. Season number six, could this be the year? Could this be the year? that they make it happen. Hey man, a lot of players don't come into the league and win their championship in the first couple seasons. Knicks finished second in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, he's got a lot of custom jerseys. Uh, Dwayne Neal was the third MVP league club of MJ, Jordan, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The Knicks would beat the Hawks in four games, completing their sweep in the first round. Why is there so many nice jerseys, man? He had the whole skyline of New York City on the jersey. I've never seen something like that before. All right, what's next? They got out of the first round. Uh, and they swept the Heat in the second round. All right, back in the conference finals. Now they're back in the finals. All right, all right. Now they're back in the finals. Is this the year? In the finals, the Knicks would sweep the Mavericks in four games. Luka who? The nasty old jerseys y'all wear. It did, man. Look at the boys. He gets his first championship. If we don't get a crying mean moment from Dwayne Neal after six seasons of failure... He dominated the series. He averaged 31, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 blocks. Great percentages. Great percentages. And look at them boys celebrate. Look at them celebrate. Finally, Dwayne Neal went on to win a championship. Has finally allowed into the GOAT conversations us. Dwayne Neal on winning... His first finals, how do you feel to win the first NBA finals for the to feel to win the finals for the first time? It feels great to shut down the people who kept saying I will never win a ring. Yes, yeah, silence those doubters, Dwayne. Silence those that it felt great because I won in the franchise that no success before I came in. Facts. I won with my teammates who have never won before, so that moment was special for all of us. Facts. I mean, really nobody on that team had a championship. So it's just a bunch of a bunch of guys that never been in that situation before. Making it happen. And they won the championship. It took until 2026. But they did it. But they did it. Dwayne Neal won his fourth MVP in the Knicks with the win the one seed again. But did they repeat? Amazing statistics for him 31, 12, and 9, or 13 and 9. They sweep the Toronto Raptors in the first round. Hey man, did they go back to back? Dwayne Neal and the Knicks will fall today, man. This man Allen was ridiculous defensively. So they did not go back to back. They lose to the four seed in, in year number seven. Year number eight comes around. He wins his fifth MVP, tying Michael Jordan. The statistics were always ridiculous. Statistics were always ridiculous. Oh, my God. They would be swept by the eighth seed, though. Eighth seed sweeping the one. Dwayne, man. Those experts and analysts on ESPN and Sports Center. We're only talking about free agency. Where would Dwayne Neal go? But you have to put yourself in the right position to be able to compete and also accomplish the goals that you set out for. You 
have any doubts about your decision? Um, no. I don't have any doubts at all. Would you like to sleep on it a little longer? Are you ready to make this decision? Ah, uh, I've slept enough for the lack of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you still a nail biter? Uh, I have a little bit. Not, not of late. We've had everybody else biting their nails, so I guess it's time for them to stop chewing. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. What's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my town to Wow, what a cliffhanger, bro. What a cliffhanger, bro. Oh, it's not a cliffhanger. It's not a cliffhanger. <laughs> he went to Utah, ladies and gentlemen. He went to Utah. Wow. That is an elite video, bro. That is an elite video of this man's career. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like. I'm leaving a link in the description. Um, this is from Dwayne Neal himself. It's from him. So, yeah. I'm. This is part one of a three-part Dwayne Neal documentary. So, I guess we'll be watching every single part. Alright? I'm out.